This is Patricia McCauley. She is the voice, the representative of Balik. And Balik, if you love fine Korean china, there's nothing else like it from anywhere on the face of the earth. That is true. Celebrating a huge anniversary this year. 160 years in business. This, this is different. This is your thistle top vase, five inches in height. Everything you see here is done by hand. This is, I've seen most of the pieces you've done. This stands out as truly, truly being unique. This is brand new today. Brand new today and a really beautiful piece. Uh, thistle vase, very aptly named because the shape of the vase in itself is like the top of the thistle. Yep. And there you are showing off the trademark, Dan, and um, of course, without which none is genuine. So if it doesn't have that trademark, then oh, okay. it is not uh, a genuine piece of belief. And yes. the trademark represents all symbols of Ireland. You have the Irish wolfhound, the tar, the harp, and all three are sitting on the island of Ireland and the little shamrocks on each side. And then this? And the K on the bottom uh, denotes the painter's signature. The individual. Yes. Not the machine, <laughs> not the robot, the individual who did this workmanship. And it starts with that soft, white, almost milk colored china. But this is ground that, that comes from your neighborhood. And it's part of the water on the river that you're located on as well. And you mix it together and they form a, a liquid clay called slip. That's right. Someone has to carve the mold by hand. Yes. Then you pour the slip in, you fire it three different times, it's glazed. Then, then the fun begins. Then an artist comes in and hand paints all of that detail. And I love that it's not just the traditional shamrock. It's not just the traditional green. Uh, you know, Ireland is a lot more than just a few stereotypes. That it is, is one right. of the most beautiful nations on the planet. The thistle, look at that. And whilst uh, the shamrock is the, if you like, the flower of Ireland, the thistle is the Scottish symbol. Uh -huh. um, but of course, the thistle grows wildly along the hedgerows in, in Ireland. A and you and see it. And beautiful, beautiful purple, it, it bursts into bloom. And whilst a lot of people think it's a nuisance, it is a very beautiful flower. Or it, weed, if you wish to call weed. it a weed. <laughs> I was excited about this because, as you know, I don't happen to be Irish. I am Scottish. Oh, there you my, go. My mother was born in Edinburgh. Right. Uh, but there is a kinship between your folks and my folks. Yes. Okay? Uh, it, this this was kind of the combination of the both. I fell in love with this one the first time I saw it. And it has a feeling to it. The way that they've created this, this wonderful texture. Oh, it's almost, I don't want to say pine cone-like. Uh, almost like a pineapple, which is a sign of friendship here. Yes, and the, the thistle and the leaves, they're all, the thistle itself is a small piece of clay which is rolled and rolled and rolled. With their fingers? With their fingers, and then they use a very expensive tool to make those cuts <laughs> because when they, they roll out the piece of clay, first of all, and they nick the top of it with a razor blade. With a razor blade. With a razor blade, and then that, it's that's rolled That's the expensive and tool. That's the expensive tool. <laughs> yes. Uh, it's more expensive than the five-inch nail. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, what they're doing is the, we have lost a sense of craftsmanship, uh, not completely, but, but here in America, we have forgotten some of these trades, and it is a true village. And I was joking around earlier, Everyone in the factory knows each other. By the factory, the factory is what, 110 people? Yeah. Somewhere around that area? 101, and, yes. And so many of them are related. That's, that's my mom, that's my dad, that's my yeah. sister, that's my brother. And, and they've continued this tradition. There were only six, 1,160 of these that were ever made. And I don't know that we can get more of them in. They're beautifully done. Wonderfully, yes. wonderfully done. Brought back because of the 160th anniversary, because it was first introduced to Bleak in 1828, that particular pattern. So Seriously. that's one from the archives. Wow. And the coolest thing is, it looks like it's brand new. Thank you. Thank you, Dan. Let me give you an update. We're, we're down to our last four dozen of the JMH Jewelry Sterling Silver and Gemstone Celtic Hugging Earrings. These earrings, once again, each one of them is heavy carat weight. In fact, the total carat weight for both is 360 points. That's over three and a half carats. That's a beautiful, beautiful set of earrings. Ah. Real quick story, and I, and I won't drag it out. First time that I was over in Ireland, uh, I had never had an Irish sweater on. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I, I, my growing up in our 